got to put on my... <laughs> What's going on, guys? I forgot to put on my headset. All right. So check it out, guys. What we're going to do today is talk about the Switch. Now, um, people have asked me before, Zeph, do you plan to get a Switch? And I've always given the same exact answer. Let's listen. Let's wait till E3 so we can find out if it's actually worth getting. You know, it might be worth getting next week or next year. So the thing is that E3 actually went ahead and showed us 81 games, 81 games for the Switch. You know, that is absolutely amazing. I am definitely looking forward to that. And so with 81 games, you got to find some good games, right? Actually, we do. We got a list here. That's right. I'm about to drive and read a list off to you because I'm that damn badass. It is. It is what it is. All right. So what I got to do is I got to switch. Um, I got to separate it between a list that is, in fact, a um, a um, exclusives versus uh, ones that you could get, you know, anywhere, you know, on any different system. And, you know, the best part is that I might die. This actually might be my last video because I might just perish because I'm reading a list and I'm actually doing a video at the same time. You know, some people dream about this. Anyway, so here we go. Splatoon 2. I mean, Splatoon, that sounds good to me. Fate Estelia. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Fate animated series, so um, I don't know if I'll if it translates to the games very well, but I'll give it a try. Mario vs. Rabbits. I saw this, and at first I really didn't care, but then I was like, eh, it doesn't look too bad. Let's give it a try, you know, kind of like that. So, Pokin Tournament. Now, Pokin Tournament is actually a game that my son got me into. At first, I was like, no, no, thank you. You know, it's not worth my time. And but then my son was playing a demo. He's like, "Daddy, look!" I'm like, "Okay, okay, I look, I look." And I was like, "Oh, that's actually pretty good." So definitely, Pokemon Tournament is definitely good. Fire Emblem Warriors. This is the uh, Warriors version of Fire Emblem, and I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of all the Warrior games. So for me to want to play the Fire Emblem Warrior games is just as good. Hyrule Warriors was great. One Piece Pirate Warriors was awesome. Therefore, I expect no less coming from Fire Emblem Warriors. In fact, I can't wait to see what's coming next. We're going to have Mushroom Kingdom Warriors, where, you know, where it's going to be like Mario fighting? Might? It sounds actually pretty good, actually. Huh. Anyway, but just to say, um, Hyrule Warriors happened, and it happened very well. So I'm looking forward to see what we got next. Um, Super Mario Odyssey. Now, that is looking great. I'm definitely looking forward to finding out what's going on and why Polina is back in uh, town. Um, of course, she's in Dunk City, so I'm guessing she's just part of the whole Donkey Kong theme thing. Um, but anyway, moving on. Fire Emblem, the actual game, uh, the regular game. We haven't had a Fire, um, Fire Emblem console game since the Wii, uh, so definitely looking forward to it. Um, what else? Kirby. Now, I'm not a big, big fan of Kirby, but I can definitely get into it, you know. It's a little platformer to pick up. Uh, plus, this one looks like the original Kirby game, just kind of remastered, so definitely looking forward to that. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Yoshi, uh, and the new Yoshi game is no exception. I just, ever since Super Mario World to Yoshi's Island, I have been a fan. Just, I love the gameplay, I love the way it is, so that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. Metroid Prime! Four. It's Metroid, it's got Prime in it, and it's the version 4. Like, seriously, how could you not want to play this game? This is the one time that I definitely do say, if you have a way to play it by any means necessary, with the exception of not stealing it, actual physically stealing it, then go play it. If you got to steal it in order to play it because of emulators, go for it. Seriously, I encourage emulators for this game because this game is actually fantastic. I'm um, just saying. In fact, uh, I'm a big fan of the Metroid series itself. You know, I love playing Metroid, you know. <laughs> He's a fantastic character. It's, uh, yeah, I'm playing. It's, it's not a he, it's a she. Sorry, even, even, even my geekdism couldn't hold that in. I was like, ah, it's a her, it's a her. Anyway, uh, Pokemon. Once again, we haven't had a Pokemon game, um, an actual legit RPG Pokemon game, on consoles since the actual um, Pokemon Coliseum. So I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. Um, and that was on a GameCube. No. No, was it? No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I think it was on the um, Nintendo 64. I think. Wow. Interesting. Uh, anyway, so third-party games include Sonic Mania, which is fine. I liked it. I'm a Sega fan, so there you go. 
Azura Striker Gun Vault. Now, I never even heard of this game before, but I got to say, the one thing I did like about it was the simple fact that it looks like a game that, I'm, uh, that I wanted to make, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and give it a try. NBA 2K18 is another game I'm going to give it a try. One Piece Unlimited World Red is a game that uh, I never got to play, so now I get my chance to play it on the Switch. Um, Battle Chasers, good looking game. Uh, looks pretty solid, so I definitely want to check that out too. Gondora is another game that looks pretty damn solid. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2! 2! 2! 2! No, seriously, uh, it's a great game. Xenoverse 2 is one of those games that um, I've been uh, playing a lot on PC. And I gotta say, fantastic game. Oh my god, my nose is itching up a storm here. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, um, a game that I've been... Look, I've been playing for a while on PC, and I want to kick everyone's ass on the Switch. Now, of course, that is determined for the fact that will they even have online on there? Because we all know that sometimes uh, Nintendo version doesn't have all the features that other things have. So I'm just saying. Um, but if it does, yeah, come at me, bruh. Rhyme looks great. Shin Mora EX looks awesome. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, I have Skyrim for PC, so I don't know if I'm really going to get this, but, you know, it did look worth it. The Fall 2, once again, looks like a game that I wanted to create, plus it's got great atmosphere, I want to give that a try. Um, Tiny Metal, Tiny Metal looks like a great game as well. In fact, uh, me and Blackbond are a huge fan of a game called Advanced, Warrior, uh, Advanced uh, Tactics, and that was on the actual, um, uh, what do you call that? That was on uh, Game Boy Advance. So with this one, it looks exactly like it, you know, so definitely going to go ahead and check this out. Black Bond, you might want to take a look at this too, because, you know, this is actually a game that you might be considering. Um, that would be Tiny Metal. I'm a big fan of the Lego Marvel, um, just the Lego games in general. Ever since I've seen everything is awesome. Uh, yeah, I've been a big fan. So definitely going to go ahead and check out the Lego games. Plus, the Batman Lego movie was awesome. <laughs> it was, well, that, was, uh, that was a great, great movie. Um, flashback, the Quest for Identity HD Remix Remastered Edition. Yeah, EX Ultra Extreme. Yeah, seriously, this game has been like remastered twice now, it looks like, and they're about to do it again, so whatever. But I'm going to pick it up because I liked um, the original version. Sonic forces once again um now fanboys will be able to go ahead and recreate sanic as well as the other characters that for some reason always got impregnated with sonic's baby i don't understand why they would do that aside from crazy but you know it is what it is um xenoblade xenoblade chronicles 2 i'm not sure if that girl was um was his sword or not his sword but she has some of the most well-defined, law-defying titties ever. Oh, my God. Like, I don't even understand why those things existed. Nor do I understand why the hell does my nose itch so goddamn much. But it is what it is. Both cases. Seriously. Kingdom! Two crowns. Uh, a game I've been trying to play, so I'm going to have fun playing it. Payday 2. That surprised the hell out of me. I didn't even expect that to even happen. Uh, I was sitting there looking at Kingdom 2 Crowns. I'm like, yeah, this looks great. You know, I remember this game. I'm going to play this one game of Payday 2. Payday 2, yeah. That, wait, what? You know? So, yeah. Rayman Legends. Now, we all know the history behind Rayman Legends. I never got to play it because of that situation. But um, now that it's on the, um, the Switch, I'm going to go ahead and take, take, a, take a look at it. Um, the Escapist 2. Uh, the Escapist is actually a pretty fun game, so definitely looking forward to that as well. Toe Jamming Earl, the hip and hog and the funny, keeping it around the world. Giving it to you like you like it. Toe Jamming Earl is so funky, it'll make you scream like nothing ever before. Ah, uh, Genesis is Toe Dam. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, that was the commercial from it, you know. That was a very interesting show, to be uh, a very interesting game, you know. Uh, and in fact, it was like, it was just, it was great all around. It was like, just, I don't know. I remember the, the rap that used to come with the actual um, game. Ah, the, um, it used to come with the uh, Xbox one. Remember that? The give it up, give it up, give it up for Master T saying, ho, the greatest rapper, rapper from something. <laughs> I forget, what is it? The greatest rapper around. A great TJ. I slam your head, you hit it spinning like a bee ball. You can't stop it. Can't even slow it down, y'all. Ah, uh, I guess it's been a while. I don't know. How, can I say the other one? What is it? 
so they call me Earl and I don't say that much so I just chill with the funky flow you know everyone's hot and they're moving at high speed I'm chilling it down you know moving at my speed anyway so uh yeah uh toe jam and Earl definitely something I need to get it is a requirement by law of the OG gamer in me god damn um war groove uh it has war in it it has a groove so definitely going to go ahead and take a look at that um Bloodstained, created by the man who created Castlevania. Okay, let's say it again. Castlevania. Okay, we are playing that. Enough said. You know? Starlink. <laughs> Starlink is basically like a, a space game in space that allows you to go ahead and put toys together to equal the spaceship that actually shows up in space. Um, I'm getting it. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's like, it is what it is. Um, Indivisible, also a good game. Um, definitely looking fun. So, am I going to get a Switch? Yes. Long story short, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And, I mean, there, those are just way too many games out there that just look like fun. You know? Sure, I wish the Switch had some other properties to it that would make um, the whole gameplay and everything around it better. Um such as achievements, hopefully good online. But you know what? Either, either way, those games are just too good to miss up, to, um, to pass up. Metro Prime 4 in itself, Pokemon, um, Mario Odyssey. We can just go on the exclusives forever. I suppose it turned that way. Um, you know, it is what it is. So let me know what you guys think of the Switch. Are you going to pick one up? Did, uh, did my list... The hell's going on over there? Um, oh, that was that mixer I was supposed to go to. <laughs> so, did the Switch actually, did E3 change your mind about the Switch? Are you going to get it, um, get one because of E3? Let me know. Comment section below while I scratch my nose. You guys have a good night. Zap out.